Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. My name is of course Constantine and today in the world of indie gaming we're going to be checking out a game that I've been following its development for quite some time now and I gotta tell you I'm really really excited to finally play this demo here and check it out. Now unfortunately of course the game is not yet finished. I will provide a Kickstarter link in the description if you want to check it out and if you want to support the project because I am really in love with what the developer has done with this game so far. I've seen the trailer for this demo here and I gotta tell you, this is going to be a really amazing adventure and by the looks of it, this is gonna remind me a lot of Monkey Island series which you guys know that I really really love. So, without further ado, sit back, relax and let's enjoy Cleo, a pirate tale here together. Let's go, let's do this! What is the most important part of a story? I am tormented by this question for a long time now, because believe me, I told a lot of stories. Let's find out and begin the story with a pirate legend, Captain Chebeka. <laughs> huh, that was quite easy. I did it, again, I'm the greatest. The Wisp of the Ignats must be hidden right here. Afonso, bring him in the map! <laughs> Look at the freaking monkey! What the heck? <laughs> Alright, press and hold shift to show the current treasure map. Oh, look at this! Fluffkey. Fluffkey Island. <laughs> Man, this is so freaking similar to Monkey Island. I am loving it. I am really, really loving it. Alright, press and hold the right mouse button to dig a treasure. Alright, let's dig here then. Nothing. Yikes! Not at the first try? That has never happened before. <laughs> Alright, let's try again. Let's try it over here. Again? Okay, it's getting embarrassing. <laughs> what about here? Ah. Oh. Crap, what the heck? Uh, now, that's looking better. <laughs> Alright, press the left mouse button to attack. Oh, look at this! We can actually do some attacks here! So this is gonna be a combination of point and clicker with, I guess, Zelda-like games? Man, this is so freaking cool. I am loving this. Oh, look at this! We can also go through the grass. That is awesome. <laughs> oh, what was that? I think this is where the treasure will be. Yeah, let's check it out. Ah, there we go. We got it. What the heck is this? You have found a piece of equipment. Use 1 and 2 to switch between the shovel and a kalimba. Take the kalimba and hold the right mouse button again. Uh, oh, okay. So we select the kalimba. What? This is so cool. It seems like it's missing one tune though. Huh. Show the document. What am I supposed to do with the Kalimba though? Oh, look at this. There is a music tune right up here. C3. So apparently the treasure is going to be on C3. So we got C and 3 over here. Hmm. So it's got C. One, two, three. Is that what I'm supposed to do? Man, this sounds so good. That's not going to work. Probably I should take a look at the map again. I mean, I looked at the map. It's like A, B, C, D, E. One, two, three, four, five. But the question is... What am I supposed to do here? A, B, C, D, E. Hmm. I don't really see the combination here for the tune. That's why I'm uh, confused right now. So it's A, B, C. D is missing though. How am I gonna do this? Huh. Oh. 
seriously? Should I dig up some more? Because I really don't know what I'm looking for. Yeah, I don't think I gotta dig up some more. Uh, for some reason, we gotta figure out the way to go with this, but I have no idea what's the proper combination. Also, not to mention, D is missing. Hmm, maybe it has something to do with those burned holes in the map. Oh, man, I'm loving it. I'm loving that it's offering us these tips and tricks. So let's see, we got... A3, maybe? So let's go with A, A3 times, B4 times, C1. Or maybe you know what? Maybe it's A, B, C, E, E. Is that gonna be A, B, C, E, E? Actually, this is one. So it's C, E, a, B, A, E. Alright, so it's C, E, A, B, E. C, B, A, E. Hold up. <laughs> so it's gonna be C, uh, E, A, B, E. C, E, A, B, E. So it's gonna be C, E, A, B, E. Is that right? So it's C, E, A, B, E. Ah, oh, there we go, we got it. What the heck, look at that freaking treasure. Are you kidding me right now? Take the bottle with Wisp. Finally, the Wisp of Ignatz. Holy crap, this is awesome. <laughs> I am really enjoying this so far. How the story of Chebeka and the Wisp continues? Sure, I could tell you that. But for now, this is about somebody else. Cleo, a pirate's tale. Wow, this is so freaking cool. All right, chapter one, Captain Avery and a death by drowning. <laughs> Cleo, hey, Cleo. <laughs> what the heck? Cleo, did you hear what butthair Pete has fished this morning? What did you just throw at me? Tell her, Pete. I guess it was a shrimp head? What? What? No, I mean, you should tell her what you had in the fishing net this morning. You are throwing a shrimp head at me? I'm sitting right next to you. Couldn't you have tapped me on the shoulder or something? Come on. Cocktail umbrellas. What? Cocktail umbrellas. Crazy, right? There were hundreds of cocktail umbrellas in Pete's fishing net. Hey, Susie? <laughs> Can I get another bottle? My name is Cleo. Why do you always forget my name? Clee... Whatever, just bring Pete the bottle. Ah. Alright, buddy, here's the bottle then. Hey, did you guys know that Captain Kebeka uh, fought against six undead skeletons? Hey Pete, what was the name of that bay again where you always find this crazy stuff? Panemu Bay, the best fishing spot ever. I was just about to say something. Do I always have to tell you this? Nobody is interested in your made up stories. We are bartenders, our guests are telling the stories. We serve the rum bottles and listen to their stories, not the other way around. Listen? You must be kidding. I can literally smell what Pete did today. He fished and he drank rum. Yeah, exactly. Pete fished for Herbert's fish soup. While you are reading the stupid fantasy party book. It's not fantasy. Captain Chebeka is a real adventurer, a legend, not a loser like... Pete? You! Carla? Do you have more of this spicy sauce? <laughs> Cleo! My name is Cleo! Uh, no, um, so soy. <laughs> uh, I'll bring it, Pete. Cleo, bring Granny Gamble a bottle of rum before you get bored to death. Aye, aye, Captain. 
All right, uh, so is this gonna be another bottle of rum? Yes, it will, and we gotta take it here, maybe? Look at Captain Chebeka book. Uh, look at rum barrel. Look at postcards. Postcards from the family. One more boring than the other, but at least they, they don't have to listen to boring fish stories all day. Hmm. Apparently I cannot pass the left side, and I cannot pass... Actually, hold up. Open counter flap. Interesting. Look at that. Did Granny Gabble get the rum? Uh, oh, um, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so apparently we gotta go elsewhere for Granny. Um, is she gonna be up here to the kitchen? I'd rather not. The smell of Herbert's fish soup is obnoxious. <laughs> Alright, so apparently uh, she's not gonna be there. Look at dirty table. Uh, so that's what it looks like after a man with two hooked hands eats soup. <laughs> now, who's Granny? Is this Granny? Look at Pete's crew. Look at Pete's crew again. This is Butter Pete. This guy is a drunker customer. Go to Jetty. Oh, there we go. I think I see uh, Granny here. Talk to Cat Steves. Stevens. Kitty kitty, come here, Cat Stevens. Well, he is trying to catch that fish till morning has broken. <laughs> Man, this is looking lovely so far. Look at Granny Gable. That's Granny Gable. At least everybody calls her that. Nobody knows her real name. Uh, so we gotta press G in order to give her the drink. Hello, Granny Gable. Here's another bottle of rum for you. Yeah, I know. I'd like to be out of here, too. Discovering new islands, going on adventures, being anywhere else in the world but here. Wait, what the crap is she doing? Ah, uh, she wants to be away from us, I guess. Seriously, Granny? It's always refreshing and so much fun talking to you, Granny Gable. <laughs> we had a great laugh, right? Hmm, she's not interested. Alright, anyway, let's go back in then. Let's tell uh, Dad, I guess, that we uh, we took the drink to Granny. Man, this is looking so lovely so far. I'm loving it. Whoa, talking to Granny Gable was a blast, as always. Can I please read the book now? Hey, where is it? Maybe I'll give it back to you when you have helped Herbert in the kitchen. Oh, seriously? In the kitchen? Come on! Or you can see the book burn over in the oven faster than you can say shrimp head. <laughs> God dang it, Dad. Seriously? Alright, so apparently he's gonna have us work in the kitchen before he's gonna give us the book back. God dang it. Whoa, look at this place. Man, this is looking lovely. Alright, let's have a chat with Herbert here. Hey, Herbert. Hello, Cleo. What a nice day, huh? What a day. Uh, I should help you. Great, that's even more fun. Please, bring me the fish out on the net. Sure. Alright, so apparently we gotta grab some fishes from here. Ew! <laughs> take another fish. Forget it. I'll definitely take only one fish at a time. Oh, okay. And I guess we gotta give it to this guy? Yep. Why in such a good mood? Don't you see? Look closer! What am I looking at? A uh, new hatchet? Wrong! A master cook knows a hatchet is only as good as... As good as what? So a hatchet is only as good as... Something, not sure what though. The cook who chops with it? Wrong again! The board is chopping on. Ah, I see. New cutting boards? <laughs> Let's bring him another fish. Correct! This board is a Stradivari among the cutting boards. Some say it is almost as good as one of the cutting boards, Reynolds boards. Huh. Alright, buddy. If you say so. Cutting board Reynolds? What? Never heard of cutting board Reynolds? He's a legend in the cutting board business. He just made a handful of boards. 
Some say these boards are invaluable and unscratchable. Alright, buddy, if you say so. Whoa, what happened to Cutting Boy Reynolds? He took a blood oath to never craft a cutting board again. He was withdrawn from the public and nobody saw him since. Oh, what the crap? What the? There's a dead hand and a book in my fish. Whoa, that's a real pirate's logbook, Herbert. Holy cow, that is not going on my soup. I will inform your dad about that. Wait, what? No, 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 don't worry about it. I'll take it, of course. I need to know what's inside this book, but these bony fingers are keeping the pages closed. Hmm, let's see. Oh, there we go. Holy crap, this looks amazing. Look at this. <laughs> what the heck? So, am I supposed to open them up? Okay, okay, so apparently we gotta figure out this puzzle here. Okay, so this one is shutting down and closing these two. What about this one? Oh, this one is going to open up this finger. Or maybe now it's open, actually. Hmm. Okay, this one is opening up these two. Huh. What about this one? Oh, there we go. We got it. Holy crap. That is awesome. Logbook of the fearless adventurer Captain Avery McCalwick. Interesting. I thought three days and nights against the monster until I could finally kill it. But today, I will leave the heaven. Huh. The ship may sink to the bottom of the sea under the weight of all the gold. The wind blows right to sail to my final destination for now. Because there's still one treasure for me to search and find. The biggest of them all. The treasure of the eternal memory. Whoa, seriously? Whoa, a real pirate! Wait, what the crap? What the heck is that? What was that? What the heck did he write here? Look at the blood splatter. What the? It looks like a word or a name. J. Cho Mil. Huh. J. Cho Mil? I guess that's the name. My fish soup! Ah, oh, crap, we messed up. My cutting board! What happened here? I... I mean, there... there was... Why the cutting board? Cleo? That... that wasn't me! There was a ghost! A ghost? Enough! Stop telling those lies! But... I'm... I'm not lying! Cleo... It is time for you to grow up. No more of this crap. My my book? No! Aw oh man, I think he just burned her book. You go fishing with Pete tomorrow morning. What? I can't even swim. I thought you wanted to go on an adventure, and I seriously don't want to see you around here. No back talk. Aw, oh, god dang it. Seriously? Cleo couldn't sleep because the ghost appearance left her no peace. Not to mention that strange book she found. Early in the morning, Cleo was on high sea, the enigmatic pirate's logbook well stowed. Whoa, look at this! <laughs> oh my god, I'm enjoying this so far. It is too early in the morning. Aye, and that's good. Why? A huge shoal of fish swims are looking into Penny's Bay every night. I don't know where they all come from, but an old fisherman saying goes, if you are fishing early in the bay, you will have a very good time. You mean, good day? Do not make a fool of yourself. Have a look around and explore the boat. I will let you know when we are approaching Panama Bay. Alright buddy, this is freaking awesome. Alright, so apparently we are fishing right now. Let's see, look at tools. A hammer, a bottle of rum, pliers, another bottle of rum, and a tube wood glue. Oh no, it's a bottle of rum too. <laughs> apparently I cannot grab anything from there. Uh, I see that we got some kegs here. This guy is preparing the net, I guess. 
Talk to not Joe. So, who won? Huh? Who won Kraken Fighter yesterday? I am standing in the hot sun, repairing the fishing net. Take a guess. Oh, sorry you lost. What? Why? No, I won. And why do you have to repair the net? I am allowed to. To tie a knot is the most honorable task on board. No, it's not. Correct? It's the knot. <laughs> but anybody can do that who grew out of his Velcro sandals, right? It may look simple, but it's science, it's art, it's a religion. I know the 605 Sailor Knot from the 55 Knot Master. They are called the Knot Father. <laughs> um, let's go with... Goosebumps. Uh, <laughs> everyone who is on a fishing boat should master these knots. Otherwise, it means huge misery. This is about life and death. But now that we allow a little girl to come aboard. Okay, okay, I got it. I do not longer mean to hold you off your holy task. <laughs> Good knot, or whatever. <laughs> Alright, so that guy is creating some knots over there. I'm not quite sure if I'm gonna need that or not. Uh, let's look at the ocean for a second. Where's the iceberg when you need it? Damn you, Caribbean temperatures. Alright, uh, can we go in the hole right here? Go under deck. Hmm. So apparently right here we have this guy. Oh, no way, look at this! There's a Godfather poster on the wall. <laughs> but this one is actually the uh, Notfather. What the heck is this? Oh, hold up. What do, we, what do we have here? Hey, there's a small piece of paper behind that poster. What? Huh, look at the poster. Hold up, what was that paper that we just got? Uh, also, apparently, there is a list of baits here. It says the 10 best baits ever. Number 8 made me cry. <laughs> what? Number 8 made my cry. My cry or made me cry? I'm not quite sure what that is supposed to be. Um, hold up. What do we have here? So, apparently, we do have some documents and we have this thing. Uh, this is Drunken, Three-Headed, uh, Immortal, Rising, and Giant. Hmm, not quite sure what I'm supposed to do with that, but uh, let's just have a chat with this guy first, with Eric. Hey, what are you doing? I'm maintaining the Kraken folder set. Can you teach me that? Sure! At first, you need to wipe the rum and blood off the seat. <laughs> so you can begin with the real maintenance. No, not the maintenance, I mean the rules of the game, crack and folder. Oh, um, yeah, why not? I guess a new opponent will be refreshing. Cool. Do you have a seat? Uh, oh, no, I don't have one. That's bad, maybe not joke can borrow you his seat? Okay, I'll be right back. Interesting, alright, so uh, we apparently need to get ourselves a seat in order to play with this guy. Let's see, is this the guy that uh, I need the seat from? Not Joe. Hey, Captain Velcro Sandals, it's me! Shush! I need to finish this knot before I lose the threat. Through the bunny hole, around the back of the tree, whoop de whoop and done! What do you want? Can I borrow your Kraken Photo seat? No, Kraken Photo is a game for sale one. You're not a man, and you don't belong here on the high seas. An old fisherman saying goes, A good knot on a boat will keep you over the water. <sighs> you mean a float, and yes, I can do knots. Ha! You don't even know the 55 knot father. Sure I do. Oh really? Prove it. No problem. Who invented this knot? It almost looks like a three-headed parrot with a, with a monocle. Oh crap, hold up. Uh, what do we have here? So, a three-headed... A three-headed... Hmm... A three-headed monkey with a monocle? 
So we got three headheads. It's a Bunjo or something, right? I'm pretty sure we gotta do something with this. Um, the thing is, I'm not sure how you rotate this or how you use it. So it's Gus, Benny, Rob, Parker, Marcus, Can, Chip, Frank, Sol, Alex, Tommy. Hold up, let me think about that. Hmm, no hurries. Alright, so maybe we gotta use that thing or something else. Hold up, maybe I gotta use that piece of paper on the um, poster right here. Or maybe on this. This is the bait. It says 10 best baits ever. Number 8 made my cry. Alright, so what if I use this here? Nothing. So this doesn't really make sense. And it doesn't like we can interact with this either. The heck? The not father. Oh look, can you have a chat with this guy? Do you know something about knots? Oh, please stop talking about knots. All day long, Joe is jangling my nerves with those stupid knots. So, knock it off. No, I just wanted to... If you come up with the word knot one more time, I will throw you overboard. <laughs> I swear by the tattoo of my mother. Okay, okay, wait. Does your mother have a tattoo? Do you have a tattoo of your mother? Or has your mother tattooed you? An old fisherman saying, if you remember your mother in ink, your boat will never go down. The three of you went to school together, right? This nut Joe is driving me nuts. All day I hear him gambling over there in the cargo hold. John called Frank. Gag me with a spoon. I think he built something in there to learn out those stupid names. So please leave me alone and let me know when you got the seat. Huh. So apparently there should be something in the cargo hold. Where am I even going there? Is there a cargo hold all the way back here? Oh, look at that! Go into the cargo hold! It's locked! God dang it! So apparently the cargo hold is locked. Can I have a chat with this guy? Maybe he's gonna let me in? Do you have the Kraken photo set? I'll be right back! Hmm, okay, so that's not gonna work. In that case, let's go have a chat with Joe here. Maybe he has the keys for us? And not like a three-headed parrot with a monocle, right? I. All right, so we don't know the answer for this one. Um, in that case, let's see. We do have to make our way inside the cargo hold somehow. Uh, are there any tools in here that we can grab? A hammer, a bottle of rum, pliers, another bottle of rum, and a tube with glue. Hmm. So it doesn't really look like we can grab anything from this thing. Uh, let's have a chat with this dude then. Can I borrow the key for the cargo holds? Sure, fishing arouses your interest, eh? I think you're going to become a real fisher girl. I can literally smell it. Yay. <laughs> Alright, look at that. We just got ourselves the key. That is awesome. Alright, so let's see. Now that we got the key, we're definitely going to be able to go inside the cargo hold right over here. What the heck? Look at strange barrel. Hmm, there is something carved in the wood of the barrel. Oh, look at this. Interesting. So now if we use this... Alright, and I think we got the uh, answer. The three-headed monkey is gonna be Gary. That is... Interesting. Oh, wait, what? Oh my god, so this is turning around. Huh. How am I supposed to figure this out then? Because this is not making sense. Oh. Yeah, hold up. I think we gotta... Hmm. Great. I feel dizzy now. <laughs> yeah, so this is exactly where we are gonna have to uh, solve this riddle. But let's just go back up here again. And let's see what this guy is gonna say. So let's check on this again. A knot, like a three-headed parrot, 
with a monocle, right? So it's a not like a three-headed parrot with a monocle. Ha! Ah, I knew it! You know nothing, John. Uh, I mean, Cleo. <laughs> Get lost, girl. God dang it. So that is not the answer. Alright, let's talk with uh, this guy again. Oh, you said not. Well, let me try it again, buddy. Hmm, you don't have a chance, but okay. A new knot. Let's see. How about this one? Who invented this knot? It's om it almost looks like... A rising octopus with a hook hand. A rising octopus with a hook hand. Huh. Seriously? So we're gonna have a rising octopus with a hook hand. Let's see, hopefully this one's gonna be easier. So we have the rising octopus right over here. And this is the hook hand. Huh. So it looks like a rising octopus with a hook hand. Now the question is, I don't really see any other hook hands around right here. And I don't really see anything else resembling an octopus. So is the answer here gonna be... Gary? It's immortal. Oh, rising. Hold up, hold up. It's not really Gary. Because we got this word. So we got rising here. We got the octopus. But the thing is, how am I supposed to use the hook hand here? A rising octopus with a hook hand. I mean, I wonder, do I have to connect these two together like this? Have the octopus with the hook hand, and then read what it's saying at rising? So let's see, this is actually saying Carl. You know what, let's try this. Let's try going with Carl. Let's see if this is correct. I mean, eventually I am going to figure this out, but um, yeah, it takes a few uh, tries here before we can figure it out. So let's see if we're gonna get this right. Uh, Steve, Alex, Chip, Carl. Wait, what? That is correct? I was afraid you will bring great misfortune on this boat. But I guess I underestimated you. Those who know the not father are worthy playing crack and fodder. All right then, I borrow you my seat. <laughs> Thank you, brother in naughty spirits. May the not be with you. <laughs> All right, look at that. We got ourselves a set, the uh, not set. So they were actually talking about a set of cars and not a stool or seat you can sit on. I don't know why I was thinking that's what I need. All right, I got the set. Nice, let's get started. The easiest way to learn the rules is directly in the game. Or do you want to reel all the rules first? Um, yeah, let's just start. Let's just start, I will learn the rules in the game. Alright, so now that we know the rules, let's see, let's draw a card. Ooh, okay, so the Kraken is gonna take out his king, his captain. Perfect. Ooh, and now we have the captain. Interesting. Now let's see what he's gonna do. Hopefully we can take his cannon out. He's gonna use hmm, almost his, all his cards. What? Oh, we got a double, that's why we took him out. Perfect. Now, unfortunately, actually, never mind. We got the cannonballs back. That is perfect. Uh, let's go with two over here. Why not? I know he only used one, but look at that. We just beat him. All right. That is great. Fortunately, he's not going to have his uh, dice back. Uh, your opponent drew the witch. He's going to be able to bring something back, though. King, of course. And I'm going to be able to bring my dice back. Perfect. 
Ah, oh, crap. He's gonna take my cannon out. Dang it. Alright, buddy. Let's keep going, then. Oh, alright. So, I'm gonna be able to resurrect a card. And I think I'm gonna go with the Kraken right here. That is a really good card to have. Alright. We can destroy something from him. But I think I'm gonna use just two dice. What? Oh, man. What the heck happened there? I mean, it looks like we just used one, but I have no idea why he didn't... Oh, he had none... Uh, he had no can cannonballs ready. I get it. Never mind. I need to pay attention on that. So he has no cannonballs ready again. So let's just use one dice. There we go. Again, he has no cannonballs. So again, let's use one dice. Man, we're destroying him. Ooh, king versus king. Ooh, captain versus captain. Interesting. Alright, uh, in that case, let's... Oh! Nothing happened. We just uh, got all our cannons back. Interesting. I think I should have pressed on the dice and not on the cards. That's why that happened. Anyway, so he is gonna resurrect another card. Unfortunately, he got the Kraken. Let's go with this then. We took out his witch. Perfect. Next up, let's bring back a another cannon. Alright, and unfortunately he's gonna take out my card. There we go. Uh, let's see. Next up, we got the Kraken, so we are gonna be able to take out his card. There you go, buddy. We got the Witch. Perfect. And I think I'm gonna go with the Kraken again. That is a really good card to have. Fortunately, he will destroy my Witch, but it is what it is. Ah, oh, crap. He used the Kraken to destroy my freaking cannon. Seriously? Right now, he is almost done. He's got two more cards re left. So, let's go with... Um... One dice. Alright. There we go. Six versus four. Perfect. We got it. And lastly, he's got one card left. Of course, he is gonna use all his dice here. But I am just gonna go with one. Hopefully, we can get him. If not, then it is what it is. Nope, we didn't get him. Yeah, I don't mind it. That's okay. Again, he is gonna use his king, of course. And I am gonna use my king. Huh. Captain versus captain. Let's go. Come on. But at least we got a double. So is this gonna be better? Yes, it will. And look at that. We won. Oh, crap. You won. Of course, I have lost on purpose. I mean, that's just fair. You wanna play another round? <laughs> Please no, buddy. I won. I'm done. Oh, you're a chicken. I knew it. Let me know if you want to play again. Oh, wait. What the heck? For my mom's tattoo's sake. Go, bring me the tools before everything is underwater. Hurry. Oh, God. What the heck? Look at the water coming in. Come on, Cleo. Come on. I don't know what happened here, but uh, these guys kind of messed up. Let's see. Let's bring the... Oh, my God. What the heck? Oh no, that's not good. Eric? I can't swim. Oh my god, what was that? Let's go back on the deck. What? Where the heck is everybody? Apparently there's nobody here. What? We cannot swim though. So this is really messed up. Hold up, can we throw the anchor down? No, can you control this? Pete? Pete! What is happening? Oh my god, I think... Uh, I, I have a feeling the Kraken is actually attacking us. Oh no, I knew it! Look at this! Freaking tentacle! Show me Lee! Alright, look at that. We just finished up the game. We just finished up Cleo. Now, I really hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did. Because this game is definitely bringing back some awesome memories from back in the days when I was playing a Monkey Island series by LucasArts. Now, of course, this has just been the demo version of the game. The game is still in development. And if you guys really enjoy this and want to support it, I'm going to provide the Kickstarter link down in the description. Now, keep in mind, the developer hasn't really sponsored this uh, channel or hasn't really asked me to uh, feature his game. I just decided to do this because I really believe in this project. And I think that this game is going to be really amazing once it's going to be complete. 
All right. Anyway, as usual, thank you all very much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you're new here and have subscribed yet, please consider doing that as I'm posting videos like this one every single day, playing many more indie adventure games and puzzle games I'm pretty sure you'll enjoy. All right. Stay safe and I'll see you all in the next one soon. Bye.